Some references you might find interesting which are available from us, or direct from Jonathan Gray, Killing of Paradise Planet, Surprise Witness, The Corpse Came Back, Before, During and After the Flood, Reconstruction Based on Archaeological Findings, Dead Men's Secrets, A Thousand Archaeological Findings, that evidence that the civilization destroyed by the flood was far more sophisticated than our current civilization and had technologies we do not have today. There's various other materials available from us or from Jonathan Gray at the contact details that you see there. Jonathan Gray has written a number of books with regard to dating problems, why modern dating techniques give wrong results. Some very thought-provoking and interesting reading available also from us or from Jonathan. And then an added complication, evidence of a new global nuclear war about four, four and a half thousand years ago, not long after the flood. Description which looks very similar to Hiroshima. A number of remains of highly radioactive cities around the world with similar destruction to that experienced at Hiroshima. Indications of nuclear bombs and nuclear war, suggestions that Australopithecus and other missing link cavemen were in fact human beings born from parents subject to nuclear radiation and therefore deformed. Important to note that if there has been global nuclear war, then any assumption of steady state nuclear decay is thrown into further disarray. So if we consider the possibility of total destruction of the surface of the earth by a flood less than four and a half thousand years ago, we find that many other theories are also disrupted. We see that global warming is a natural result of the earth continuing to dry out as water drains from the continents, and therefore so is the rising of sea levels, as shown by the graph bottom right. We find that cities have been submerged, and that those cities are available for inspection. We find that all races can trace their origin back to Noah and his family, and that all differences between race groups are a consequence of degradation or, if you like, negative evolution. We find that evolution over millions of years is invalid. And in fact, we find that it's possible that dinosaurs lived recently and the Loch Ness Monster was quite possibly real. So what is the origin and purpose of man? What is the truth about evolution versus creation? How do you evaluate that? Together with this DVD, there's a CD at the end of the set which contains a document entitled What is the Origin and Purpose of Man? Or you can download the document from my website at www.etimin.org. This document examines in some detail the relative merits of evolution versus creation. So an aside, what do I believe about the Bible? It's a highly valuable resource in coming to know the Creator at a personal level. The lack of certainty about the contents of the book has caused me to turn to him and seek him more, which I hold to be his desire. I hold that much of the book contains writings inspired by the spirit of the Creator. But the book is not a club or a heavy weapon to beat in people into agreement with, and it is subject to different interpretations. Only the Creator has all truth. I would suggest for your consideration that the exact age is not critical but the principle of a recent event is important. A debate as to whether the flood occurred at exactly 2345 BC or 10,000 or 20,000 years ago is not that critical, but it is important to decide whether there was a global flood, and your view on this information may point you to some major decisions. To sum up, there has to have been a massive global hydraulic and tectonic event, a flood, Engineering principles say that long-range extrapolation is unwise and reckless. Sharp young rocks everywhere point to a young age. Historical accounts point to less than four and a half thousand years ago. What should you do? And what questions should you ask?